Hi all, welcome to the JS Framers channel. So today we will be looking at how we can integrate ESLint into an, into an Angular application. So uh, here we have created an Angular 9 application and as you can see uh, TSLint is the default linter which comes with Angular 9. So uh, in order to migrate from TSLint to ESLint we need to follow the, the below steps. So initially we need to um, install the following dependencies so as you can see these are all npm packages and uh, the major packages are eslint which is the eslint uh, code itself and then we have the e typescript eslint parser so as you know um, eslint is mainly used for javascript so um, in order to enable eslint to lint typescript we need to install this parser and the third library is the ESLint plugin. So this will have the default rule sets which are uh, defined for ESLint. So let us install these dependencies one by one. So we have uh, given the npm install. It will take some time. as you can see the npm install has completed so our next step is we need to uh, install the T uh, run the tslint to eslint config this is a tool which basically takes your tslint.json file in, uh, in the angular application and converts it to an eslint configuration file so let's run that it also um, suggests uh, the different rule sets uh, like the plugins and the extensions which are needed by your uh, project so this will vary uh, from project to project so the configuration has been uh, converted fully and it has also suggested to install the following plugins so we can copy this and since we are um, creating the ESLint only to lint the TypeScript we can remove the packages which are related to the HTML and we can do an install so all the plugins have been installed now let us go to the code as you can see uh, the tool has created an eslint configuration file this is the eslint rc.js file so uh, as i told previously we need not have the html related plugins so i am removing them and also we have custom rules which are defined here uh, we can remove the rules which are related to html parsing so these two are uh, html related so i have removed them also since all the dependencies uh, have been installed we can give eslint a try so we can change the lint script which is provided in the package json and we can add it so that ESLint can be used as the linter so here we provide the ESLint CLI and the configuration as the ESLint RC.js and since we are planning to lint only the TypeScript files we add extension as .ts and we provide the source folder path as the input so now let us give a try by giving npm run lint so 
so you can see that ESLint has started linting the source code and reported the errors so uh, if we open the files which are reported uh, as lint errors for example I have opened the app.component.ts so here you can see like uh, in the VS code there is no indication of the linting errors so for this we have to add an extension in VS code that is called ESLint so I have added that and we need to add a configuration in the VS code settings this is the setting like ESLint dot working directories and we need to set the mod as auto so you can see that the ESLint plugin has started reporting the lint errors and as you can see most of these errors are related to the indentation so even if we do a formatting as you can see uh, the errors still remain so in order to fix this we need to change the contents of the file called editor config so here we have defined the indent size as 2 so what we need to do is we need to change it as 4 and if we do a formatting of the file all the errors have been fixed so as you can see uh, the ESLint reports the errors and the warnings which can be fixed so there is an option which comes in within the ESLint CLI which is called hyphen hyphen fix so you can use that option to fix errors which are which can be automatically fixed by ESLint so let's give it a try so as you can see ESLint has automatically fixed most of the errors which can be fixed by it and only the errors which needs to be manually fixed are remaining in the report another handy option in ESLint is the hyphen hyphen cache so this uh, option can be used to cache the results of the ESLint linter and if there has been no code change then if you run the ESLint again it will just fetch the results from the cache so uh, let us give it a try so since this is the first run using the hyphen hyphen cache uh, option it will be creating the cache now if we run a second time it will just fetch the results from the cache so this option will provide a much faster result as you can see and unless we make any change to the source code it will keep on fetching the result from the cache so uh, let us give it a try here it is reporting a lint error so I have modified this file and if I run it again it will ignore the cache and rerun the actual lint So as you can see the results have got updated. For optimizing the runtime of the linter, uh, there is an option called there is an environment variable called timing which we can set. And if we set the value of timing as 1 as I have set here and then run the lint, it will report the time taken by each of the rule set that has been run. So it, it provides insights to how you can uh, improve the runtime like uh, as shown here some of the uh, rules may not even uh, may not be even applicable to your projects so in that case you can remove those rules and hence improve the runtime another place where we can improve the runtime of the linter is the parser options and the project so here as you can see uh, by default it, 
the project will always be the tsconfig.json which is in the root folder of the angular application but in case you have multiple projects like uh, npm libraries which are there in inside the same uh, angular application you can point to the tsconfig within that particular library for example i am just giving a sample so you can point it to the tsconfig of the uh, library itself so in this case the maybe the code of the library is much smaller as compared to the entire application so this will help reduce the linting time taken by the eslint so that's another uh, optimization step you can do after uh, once eslint is installed and configured so um, that's all folks so if you have uh, like the video please uh, subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon thank you